what's going on everybody this is temperature check episode number five i am the host mr check the temperature himself man and first and foremost happy father's day if you are a father out there man i know the job that you have is not an easy one so salute to you um if you are new to the channel have a seat and how you have a seat you subscribe so down at the bottom of the page make sure that you hit that bell and you will be notified every time i drop a video i'm here to do the recap of urls a one-off event from yesterday so let's get into it and check today's temperature so um the first battle we had was big ham versus don marino um my take on my initial thoughts on the battle it was a very very strong battle um to start the event off with Don Marino came out swinging in the first. Um, definitely had a lot more personality, a lot more believability in his first round than his last performance. Um, and you can see it, the confidence was there. Um, but I thought Big Hand just came out and really commanded the stage. He really kind of kind of barked on Don Marino in the first. Um, but his aggressive aggressiveness was there. Um, the cadence was there. So I did give Big Hand the edge in the first moving on to the second Don Marino elevated he even becomes he takes it even higher and really puts on a very good uh second round he's starting to get more comfortable you can see antics and things of that nature um in in his rounds he definitely was a lot more animated so it was a very good round however big hand lord have mercy the angle that you took in the second round, an angle like that will get you on rookies versus vets. I can guarantee it. That is a great, that's a veteran type angle. That is a veteran move type of angle. Um, so I definitely appreciated your round and the crowd appreciated it. The comment section um, during the second round was going crazy. Big hand commanded the the stage, actual, actually physically being on stage and he commanded the stage in the comment section. So I had a big hand up 2-0 going into the third the third don marino yes sir that's how you that's how you close that out that's how you close that out that's how you close a very good battle out sir you did phenomenal in that third round i'm arguably gonna say that's probably your best third round that i've ever seen um personally um from the battles that i've watched um i thought you were great i thought the angle that you took separating yourself from other battlers genius i definitely like the angle um, obviously you had the crowd reaction, you had a uh, comment section going crazy. Um, big hand, no slight to your third round, but I just thought it was just less impactful just coming off the steam of Don Marino's third round. I just thought that was a hard round to beat. Um, but I have the battle 2-1 um, edge to big hand. Don Marino, that is a, not a slight. I thought you were consistent. I thought you did very well this, this battle. Um, I saw that you called out Big T in that battle for rookies versus the bets. I like it. The battle of the antics and the sound effects, I can rock with it. Um, next, we have the Swamp versus Twerk battle. We'll talk about that later. Um, so then we had the surprise battle, JC versus Loso. <laughs> That's the reason. Another reason I'm wearing all black. We, we got a and I forgot, man. Special guest appearance, man. I have a special guest today, man. I actually have JC with us, man. It is great. I, I can't believe I was able to reach out to him and uh, get in contact with him. So he'll be actually on the uh, on this episode. So we'll talk to him in a couple minutes. But uh, Cortez versus Nitty. Cortez versus Nitty. Um, my initial thoughts. It, it happened. It didn't happen exactly how it happened, but I had this, I had the the results correct. I had 2-1 Nitty, um, and I gave it 2-1 Nitty. He did exactly, he came in there, he was a, Rump Nitty is a higher killer, man. He is a higher contract killer. He came in there and punched Cortez head off three consistent rounds. Um, very few slip-ups, very few stumbles. However, unfortunately for Cortez, um, choked in the first, choked in the second. Very consistent third, so I gave it. To, I gave it to Nitty to one clear. However, one thing I do want to say about Cortez, respect the hell out of him because immediately after the battle had ended, when they were doing uh, the live recaps of the, of the battle, he admitted it, man, I lost this one, 2-1. So I got to at least, if nothing else, I appreciate the professionalism. I appreciate the professionalism. I appreciate the ownership of what happened. Okay, now let's get into this Swamp versus Twerk.
obviously, I'm very disappointed because Swamp versus Twerk did not happen. Um, they decided Smack came out and made the announcement that the battle wasn't happening, that he wanted to move it to the next week um, because he said it would, he wanted to make sure that the energy and attention was still in the room. For what? Quit lying. Quit trying to save your URL, baby. Tell that young man, come outside and play. Swamp was ready, twerk wasn't. Everybody saying it, everybody know it. Just admit it. At this point, Swamp, I got two options for you, my brother. And you know I rock with you. You know I I appreciate it on um, the support, retweeting um, the video, uh, reaching out to me, letting me know that you appreciated the video. Um, I This is my advice, man. You got two options. One... Don't even take the battle no more. At this point, it don't even matter to me. Like I'm, I'm over it. I don't care. I wanted to see the battle. I no longer have interest in the battle because you've already won. Like you beat him in, in every level without even rapping. It's th it's a three zero without even rapping. I don't care if y'all battle next week. Like will I watch it? Yes. Will I break it down? Yes. However, to me, it may it means nothing because you've already elevated over twerk. So this was supposed to be your biggest shot time to move on man i think you move on to t-top and if you do battle however if you still want to take this battle which i at this point in time dirty 30 that's what i want you to go for um, i'm not doing 2-1 anymore my prediction now is a dirty 30 for swamp i'm picking swamp 3-0 whenever if ever this battle ever happens mark it down in your books i got swamp 3-0 but if you do take this battle don't take it next week no put the pressure on him put the pressure on url tell him you only gonna take it if it's unknown I don't care what they're trying to say. They're trying to paint this narrative. Oh, it's a bigger look next week. No, it's not. Take it, tell them I'm only taking this battle on known. That way you put the pressure on URL to make sure Twerk is ready and Twerk. If you don't show up to known nine of main events, they need to, they need to sit you down, man. That would be four losses in a row. They need to sit you down. This is Twerk. <laughs> this is not it. This is why no one, this is why no one can rock with you. You're too inconsistent. Great talent, no work ethic. I'm sorry. That like that's crazy. You you knew that the entire battle rap community had eyes on this on this battle yesterday and you weren't prepared. Like that that's ridiculous. So no, Swamp, this battle does nothing for you. I do believe if you do battle him, it is a setup. Expect the antics. I'm expecting he's gonna bump you, he's gonna try to end this this battle one way or the other. I do like just don't take this battle. It's not a good look for you. Just focus on T Top. It's time to get to the T Top at this point. The twerk battle is done. I don't believe in it. It does nothing for him. Swamp already 3-0 twerk. Moving on. But the reason I'm in all black, and again, we about to have JC here. That was a surprise battle. The JC versus Loso was a surprise. Um, Give you a background story. They were supposed to battle two weeks ago. JC did not show up to the event. Did not Apparently, um, did not show up to the event. Did not contact the URL. That's what we thought. Um, however, they decided to do this battle yesterday. JC, you should have waited. Wherever you wherever you was hiding, you should have stayed hiding. But that's okay. We, again, JC's here. We're going to talk to him. We're going to ask him a couple questions. But Loso, this is what I say. Loso caught a body, a dirty 30. Yes, he did from the get-go. He caught a body when he walked out with the with the Orlando Magic jersey on. And I know he and I heard the reference. I heard the I heard the Shaq Gnosis reference. Did you have on Shaq, Shaq Gnosis yesterday? If you did, sir. <laughs> Dirty 30 is what you call. First round. The comparison to your JC and his JC. You said your JC walked on water. Why you letting the wave walk all over you? Oh, my God. And it's Sunday. Whew. Amazing, th amazing first round. Already had a 1 0 clear. 1 0 clear. Second round. The angle you took on JC on why he's taking deposits from smaller leagues, and this is why he'll never get a God tier. You right. You sure right. He'll, he will battle me right now if I had $150. Did I say $150? Let's get, it. Let's get into that. But yes, that's exactly why he, JC, you at that, you will never see a verb. You will never see Lux, and you damn sure ain't going to see Surf. Because they was all laughing at This is why they say you should have just stuck to the list. You should have stuck to your list. You had four people on the, on your hit list. You should have stuck to that. You would have been fine. You took Loso. Anyway, third round. JC, you telling me that you 
that paid one hundred and fifty dollars from a verse from Loso six years ago, and he had the receipts. He pulled out the receipts. Oh, he pulled out the receipts on you. Had it on his IG. Told people to go follow him on his IG. Loso, I love I love the marketing ploy. Told people to go follow him on his IG to to understand the storyline. He paid you one hundred and fifty dollars for a verse four years ago, and you did not <laughs> provide that verse, and you did not. Get that man his money back. He went off on you, JC. This is not it. This is this is by far one of your worst performances. Again, like I said, you in hiding, but it's okay. You're here now. I'm in all black. It's Sunday. I'm here for a funeral, and JC is here with us again. So I'm gonna bring JC in. I'm gonna ask him a couple questions, man. Just stay tuned. Let me go. Let me go get him. 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 What's going on, JC, man? How you doing, boss? JC, what happened in the battle? You don't want to talk? Oh, you got, oh, he put you in a, he put, he put you in a body bag, body bag. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me, let me, let me move my friend JC real quick. <sighs> Body bag. This is your boy, Mr. Check the Temperature himself, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Happy Father's Day.